That little young ain't up to something. He gon' roll when it's right. Ain't no question they gon' make him take a soul in the night. Once he ran from automatics, he done chose. Yo, yo, what's the word, bro? What's good, what's man? Problem, bro? Hey, bro, for people that's, you know what I'm saying, maybe unfamiliar with you, who I got in front of the camera. I had a little soldier slim, cut them to the bone. For sure, for sure. Now, uh, I know you from New Orleans, bro. What part of New Orleans are you from, though? Uptown Third Ward. For sure, for sure. Now, shit, like, growing up in Uptown Third Ward, uh, what was it like for you? Oh, shit, fuck. I was son of a legend. So I was a little different, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody knew me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've always been a known person. Everybody, like, my whole... I guess I ain't gonna say, like, everybody knew my whole family, but... Everybody know my whole family, like, but that's how it is. Everybody know everybody. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, like that's just small. Our population was like two hundred some thousand people. God damn. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Now, shit, like you know, what I'm saying with you being the son of a legend, uh, with your, I, I, I would say this, but like with your lifestyle being, you know, what I'm saying more out there on the media and shit like that. Uh, how was that for you? Like, was that kind of more pressure on you growing up, or what? That didn't affect me as a kid at all. I still grew up like a regular kid. So. Sure. So, now shit, uh, like going to school and shit like that, bro. Like, what kind of student were you in school? I was smart. I just was bad as hell. Um, I, I stayed suspended, get kicked out and shit. But not like, just, I don't, I don't know. Like, I got suspended for fighting a couple of times. Like, it, it always, it was never just, oh, I was a chronic fighter. Or I constantly did this. You know what I'm saying? It was always like something different. Like, I always. I don't know. It just resulted in that. For sure. Like, would you like, because what I want to say is, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? When you're growing up, you know what I'm saying? Your father, who he is, it's like that name is kind of on your back as well. Like, do you have to feel like you have to carry that and kind of, you know what I'm saying? No. And it didn't start kicking in until I got older. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It, like, my pops being so slim didn't affect me. It affected me because all my friends, parents, like, you know what I'm saying? People that I knew, their parents knew, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, they yeah. was older, but, like, my friends, like, people that I went to school, like, they ain't treat me no different. Or the strength, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Like, yeah. Now, uh, like, people that may not know about New Orleans is watching this interview, Uh, how would you explain, like, the whole environment? Is it, like, more of a, like, a family-knit neighborhood area, or how is it? Yeah, there's a lot of families crammed in a small area, you know what I'm saying? And it's like that all over the city. So, so, you know, for sure. Okay, now uh, I watched a couple of your interviews as well. Uh, you explained the story when your mom's friend was killed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. She had to go through therapy and like counseling things like that. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel? How you feel that affected your family? Um, basically, it just it just affected how it affected her mentally. So it piggybacked off me. Like I ain't never like my grandma, like my mama, mama. She really kind of like my mama. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So she was everything for me anyway. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing at the time, like, oh, my mom was going through this or that. You feel me? How yeah. old were you, though? I had to be, like, six. Oh, seven. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I had to be, like, six or seven. Okay. So at this point, I guess you moved with your grandmother? Um, I had already been staying with my grandma in and out. Like, even while my mom was trying to get established in Mississippi, like, I was staying with my grandma. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, like, my grandma's house was, like, home for me. But after Katrina, they sold their house, and they ended up moving to Gonzales. Mm, okay. Uh, okay. I, I do want to get into that as well because that was, like, a, a big-ass situation. You know what I'm saying? Big, uh, tragic. Yeah. Uh, going through Hurricane Katrina, you know what I'm saying? Can you kind of walk us through that experience? Man, actually, I know a lot of people came to Dallas. A lot of people went to Houston, you know what I'm saying? They was actually able to get away. But by us being right in Mississippi, it's only like an hour and 15 minutes from New Orleans. Like, we got the whole hurricane. Like, we didn't have no lights for like four, five weeks. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, fucking gas was $6 a gallon in 2005. God, you feel know I me? Mean? Um, nigga ain't have school for like seven weeks. Damn, so how was you able to, like, what was, what was some of the things y'all was doing that was different to, you know what I'm saying, survive? Man, it was so many people from New Orleans and Mississippi right here in this little small, like, area at this time. Because I guess it was like, all right, like, right as soon as you cross over the Mississippi line, it's the first city. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Right there, you feel me? So, like, people going here just trying to get away, you know what I'm saying? People don't have nowhere to go. It was so many people, like, 
where we stayed at, it was like a little project, you know what I'm saying? Our community park. So just, you know, in a project, other people from the project, people who had people in New Orleans, all these people come, like, there was so much shit going on. The whole project ain't had no lights. So at Damn. nighttime, you see nothing, like, it's pitch black, you see number flash lights and shit, gunshots, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it was still, like, it, was, it was still New Orleans in that bitch, you feel me? It was really even worse, because, every like, really, like, once Katrina hit, and everybody knew, like, the flood happened, everybody just automatically, like, fuck, we lost everything. You yeah. know, the whole city. Right. So people really was wild and trying to get whatever they can get. But that's what I'm saying, too, though, because you say y'all was hearing gunshots. I'm like, bro, if everything fucked up right now, like, it's still oh, yeah, on your mind to go get it. fucked up even more. And they said it wasn't just, like, it was like that everywhere. Everywhere in the world, the people went. They still like that in Houston. It was like that in Atlanta. True. You feel me? True. Yeah. Damn. So, like, with that whole situation, bro, like, do you feel like you got PTSD from shit like that? Man, I had PTSD. So, by the time my daddy died when I was eight years old, I had to already lost, like, three, four people that was real close to me. Yeah. Like, my dad was, like, my first person. Like, he was, like, the fourth funeral that I had went to. God. At Family. age eight? At eight. So, who who were some of the other people? I know, uh, like, your mom's friend. Um, My grandma, auntie. My grandma's favorite auntie. And by, like, I told you, my grandma, like, my mama. So, right. her favorite auntie, you know what I'm saying? I was close with her. Um. One more friend. Oh, my cousin. I had a cousin. No, she died after. She died the year after my dad. No, I see what you're saying. That's my, a... my mama's favorite cousin died the year after my dad. Though. God Feel damn, me? bro. Real talk. Like, my whole life, like, people that I know that was close, like, died. Right, right, right. Now, you know, uh, just me talking to you, bro, like, a lot of people may see you. I'm like, yeah, and they got money. He out. You know what I'm saying? He already he established. You feel me? Not knowing all the shit you know already has to go through. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel like that affects you? Would that make you more of a hustler? Or... Everything I got, I work for. You know what I'm saying? Me, people automatically assuming that I was supposed to have a certain thing made, made me hustle even harder. You feel me? Because I want to feel like down. I am supposed to have a certain thing. That little young man up to something. He gon' roll when it's right. Ain't no question they gon' make him take a soul in the night. Once he ran from automatics, he done chose not to fight. We gon' catch